Dude, is this the game I take Prague? Welcome back to the Venice series. This is a showdown that we've all been waiting for. In most of the DoD games that you've seen on this channel, it's Bohemia who rises to be the great power in Central Europe and Germany by forming the Albion Confederation. This campaign is unique. That didn't happen. Bavaria and then the Danubian Confederation that they formed is the dominant power in Germany with the power to form Germany. Ever since the day Scandinavia transferred Pomerania and Holstein to the Danubians, it seems like we've been on a trajectory to see the first ever formation of Germany in DoD in multiplayer. There have been plenty of opportunities for the Danubians to actually form Germany so far and plenty wars that you could have won, including this military campaign that I refer to as the disaster on the Danube. But whether or not you believe that he's just gotten lucky with where the diplomacy has gone and what transfer as he happened to get, the fact is that he's still on the precipice of forming Germany even if it is a bit later than it could have been. There's one nation that's had a very mixed relationship with this upcoming potential Germany and that's Burgundy. A long time ago you may remember that Burgundy interrupted a 1v1 between Bohemia and the South Germans by joining it on Bohemia's side against them and taking Switzerland. Burgundy accepts the population that lives there, the Rhenish people, one of the three main cultures in Germany. That accepted pop conflict as well as just the general threat that Germany potentially poses to Burgundy on his undefensible border is why it cannot be in Burgundy's interest to ever let Germany form. However, through all the complicated twists and turns in the diplomacy and wars in Europe, it seems like that is now what Burgundy is doing. In exchange for the Danubians relinquishing their support for the dual monarchy, the Burgundians agreed to transfer him the Rhineland. These two regions, which are Burgundian cores and all the pops in there are accepted by them, are the last piece in the German puzzle. Well, there is another little piece somewhere that we might hear about later. There is one big spanner that's been thrown into the works of this deal, and that is that the Burgundy player left the game only to be replaced by the former Bohemia player. What better candidate could we possibly have thought of to play this country? Well, this absolute spanner has decided to go on a complete rampage, dismissing all infamy, going to sanctions, eating as much dual monarchy land as he possibly can, and refusing to transfer the Rhineland to the South Germans, meaning that their only option is to fight a war for it. So let's see how these two nations compare with each other in the year 1895. They're very balanced in population. Burgundy has a little bit more pops overall and the Danubians a bit more accepted. Burgundy has about 1 million overseas pops in colonies and he also has a lot of dual monarchy land that he doesn't accept. The Danubians have a much bigger army than Burgundy, both in professional brigades and mobilisation. This is because Burgundy in fact only has 3.8% soldier pops in his country, and ironically it's actually the dual monarchy land that he's taken that has better soldier pop percentages than his native Burgundian land that only has about 3.8%. They both have full military tech, and they both actually have the order national value. So according to Loco, this is the only fair war that there's ever been in this campaign. The Danubians has a better military industry, but they both have loads of money in the bank so they can afford to stockpile goods, and since there's no war going on elsewhere in the world really, the world market should cover their military good needs. But there is one thing that differentiates these two countries, and you already know what it is. Burgundy has sanctions, which is a debilitating modifier. Specifically for military stuff, this is a huge penalty to his organisation, both the actual organisation of his troops and how quickly he can replenish that organisation. And his war exhaustion is going to suffer, which comes with its own penalty against organisation regain. So if you're at 56.3% war exhaustion, you'll get minus 56.3% org regain. It was Burgundy's own decision to go into sanctions because he wanted to take more land from the dual monarchy. He was greedy, and he's going to suffer for it in this war. So ladies and gentlemen, this is a showdown that has been building up for many years and it's going to decide the fate of Germany, whether or not it can even form. Enjoy. Hey, it looks like we've got some uh, we've got some onion skill issues going on here. I'm so confused. Why does an onion just go around the back through Amsterdam? The new, uh, I accidentally multiple problems were treated when he was trying to look at the brigade counts for nations. Do you mean Burgundy, not Danubia? Uh, one of them. I, 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 I think it was Burgundy, because Burgundy. Burgundy. Burgundy has less brigades. They also said to delete as well. Yeah. The Danubian said delete in the chat. No, oh, yes, but he can unsphere me. He <laughs> said delete, that means he all has right. to do it. Temporarily unsphere. That's all. Can Germany form after this war? Yeah, he is all the yep. Sperlings except Bremen. 
Yeah, yeah that's, that's why I'm oh, fighting shit. him, dude. He doesn't. He has that one weevil core. Oh, oh he's oh, an oh, oh, yeah, yeah, Weevil is dead. That's hilarious. Weevil is not currently fighting Danubians, so he's gonna transfer, obviously. Onions, skill issues once again. Org doesn't matter, guys. Let's see how much org you get back here. Org ticks per day. Yeah, it does. I'm pushing him back. Why did you attack with no org? Org doesn't, or doesn't affect matter. my casualty ratio. Looks like, uh, looks like Burgundy might win. You're not shadow funding, right? I'm, why the fuck? No, shadow funding doesn't affect orb. I wouldn't put it past him. You've not been on um, the country, so... I have like 7 million pounds, why would I shadow fund? Just because you have a large amount of money doesn't mean you stop the grind set. I kinda have to attack that shit. Oh damn. What? Oh Why my god. What this Danubians is a skill issue right now. What the fuck was that? That's basically the second war ever he fought in this campaign. He's been fighting transfers. He has like 200k in the Netherlands. And now they started moving. This was pretty much over. He could have just fucking encircled you onions. Damn, he should have done that. That's true. Wait, what the fuck? Oh my org moment. Oh, oh you retreated behind lines. You just fucking retreated oh, into neutral. Line? It's Frank neutral. Frank it's neutral. Oh yeah, org doesn't matter. Huh? Delete the ones in Frankfurt. Another another bunch of brigades deleted. Another onions win. I think it's because of the sanctions. No, we buff up No, order. doesn't sanctions reduce? But it might also be that Burgundy is at like 67 war yeah, exhaustion. Yeah. You know. He is, he is. Oh my god. Another onions out. What sanctions does to a motherfucker? You yeah, you haven't been occupied, right? So. When will it stop? When will it stop? It's the sanctions, dude. Sanctions is just a number, bro. I'm having to cycle for it. I didn't see all these deliberating modifiers, and he's like, hmm, don't mind if I do. He's colorblind. He doesn't see the difference between big green numbers and big red numbers. And, oh, the month tick's coming, yeah. You're choosing to get the month tick. Dempsey, do I need to bring back the spaghetti sauce the argument? You can, you can oh, talk right. about the spaghetti sauce. I'm sure everyone here would love it. All right, so, all right, so guys, is it sauce or is it gravy? If you're going to put a meat in the sauce, what kind of meat are you going to do? You can do beef, you can do like turkey. What are you going to do? I just got all of turkey. How the so. fuck would you put turkey in there? Like a turkey and a bolognese? The map is finally fucking complete. Sneed circle, not ruin that. Sneed, 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 Oh shit. Buzzword, 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 buzzword. Gamer, 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 gamer. You've got no one. You're, you're, you're even have probably gonna lose behind. Arnim. You're just gonna lose Arnim anyway. Yeah, you're gonna lose Arnim. Oh, it's down to the wire. You're gonna hit the orc Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> That's He's a terrible the org. What the hell? He nah, he'll, he'll win. Fucking China just destroyed one of my fucking ships in an event. Oh my fucking hell. Oh, sorry. They both have such awful org. Need org, you need org. Oh, there's a full org slack going in! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that just like... It's, it's Shiner's years. org! Yeah, but he has more org in the northern battle. Damn, oh my god. No, no, no. <laughs> he sent more... He sent more troops to oh. oh. back in the south right now. Oh. How many did I wipe? Because there was 100 brigades, I was like 90 brigades. Meanwhile, in the south, though, you're getting BTF the Why fuck Why is he not over. attacking in the south, into Sarbrücken? He sucks. Why would he do that? He sucks dick. It's glitch, it's glitch. He really... He, 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 oh my god, oh. Oh my god. I think this shows you how much Dempsey has been doing. Damn. You know, this this war is making fucking this guy turn into a Victoria 3 war system supporter. That's how bad he is. <laughs> Sheesh! Sheesh! He's new to MP as far as I understand, so... He's very new. It's over. He's not that new. And Dempsey literally just fed him. <laughs> he just he was him in the fat. game with me in Spud. That was, he was doing pretty well. In. He, he has was. a sneed advantage. The what? Sneed advantage? Stop <laughs> saying fucking buzzwords, please, for five <laughs> seconds. I'm trying to cope, dude, come on. <laughs> we know. He's, a, he's attacking me. He's coping into you. <laughs> oh? Please, please. He literally Damn. has like a hundred and... 30 stacks sitting there doing I'm nothing. Oh, Nisa's putting more unorg stacks into battles. <laughs> Jesus.
so fucked up. Why is Burgundy getting no honor? Why am I going in Victoria? He just he fucking sucks. Because he has like, like, sanctions plus eighty words. It's there. the price of greed. He's fucking it's shit the in the game. This is the price of Sneed. That too. Absolute baboon mentality. Mentality. Did I? I've org. Did I ask? No, no, what the fuck is going on? Hey, Onions, I found the guy who asked. He's down a channel. Go, go there. <laughs> actually, I bet he did ask, actually. No, fuck, dude. <laughs> it's just CBC Castro who's down a channel. I bet he did ask. What happened to your organization? Yeah. Oh, I have a four defense. It really feels like you're shadow funding on the show. I'm not shit. I'm definitely. I have fucking 2k stock. Spam, but it's probably just one big skill issue. It's sanctions, dude. Obviously. I mean, oh, everyone knew that. It's oh, okay. Oh, it's sanctions. I forgot about that. No one is seeing it. Hmm. Yes. I wonder why the guy at like 80 war exhaustion isn't reinforcing his troops. It's like well. four moves. I'm reinforcing it's fine. Like I'm not working. How about you blockade him properly? Then that sucks. Yeah, you should be. Is that eight to war exhaustion? Can't delete it. It's in a battle. Bro, how many of my troops have gotten like deleted, and I'm still like kind of winning? It was all there, me and Circleman. I'm still like kind of, kind of coping. Oh yeah, I, I made it all. Oh yeah, I, forgot. I literally made it all back when I did that in Circleman. Why is he not attacking Zvola now? Damn. Oh, well, he's got more brigades again. Oh, he's attacking. There we go. No. Oh, never mind. Oh my god. Never mind. Oh my god, the idiot. Yeah, he's alone in the VC. If anyone's like want to help him, go there and like give him advice. Yeah, if, if anyone. Weevil would just go in there and start talking about pasta if I do, so. Is he just leaving that open for me? He got vision on him, then of course he's leaving it open for you. The worms, the worms, they're in your skin, they're in your skin, Martian. The worms, the worms. Get them out, get them out, get them out, get them out, get them out. Oh, them out, oh my out. god, Green is getting ward. Skinwalker is in you. Oh. We got India. Good job. Is he trying to bait me? Who's giving you India for free? I got the it's Chinese India. Life. I'm gonna leave. Oh, I'm gonna leave my province open too. What's You're he leaving? Do about it? He rage Oh. Onions oh. rage quit. No! <laughs> and nothing of the video is lost. Onions, oh. try not to rage quit challenge. No, but Impossible. before he rage quit, he tried to. CDC try not to get encircled from Amsterdam <laughs> challenge. He would. He really would. Stop getting nine rolls. No, please. No, please. You I beg you. Skilled? Did you get the roll tack? I'm unfortunately forced to cope about it. He attacks me and I had a stack like that. You know, it had to reinforce. You got skill issues, what you're saying. Blowing him out in the north, let's go. Blowing uh, him? Look at that Blowing him in the north? I mean, Onions is in the navy, so... <laughs> Onions putting in more on steps into a battle. Like half of the brigade count. Sending more troops to the front line, dude, come on. Put more on stacks in the battle. Come on, you got this. I don't have org stacks. I said on org stacks. Mate, you do have org stacks. They're just sitting on the front line doing nothing. I'm gonna fucking encircle him again, fuck it. Oh, Amsterdam or what? No balls. I can't. I literally cannot encircle. He's learning. What if I just follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up? What if I just navel encircle him? His being advised is like. Oh, gonna... No, I'm gonna sit there because he can't see me. All right, John I... Cena. He can't see you if you put John Cena on the army. Steiner's reinforcement tick. Wait, what? Uh oh. <laughs> uh -huh. Chuck is mobilizing. <laughs> Need formerly Chucks is mobilizing. I don't really have transports. It. All right, it's time for. A... No, don't reinforce. Don't reinforce. Formerly right. Chucks. You cannot. You will reinforce. Chuck you cannot Chuck. reinforce. You cannot in parentheses reinforce. I'm gonna wipe it. There's still six days left in the battle. It's gonna be a wipe. Okay. Why is he not reinforcing? Is he gonna retreat? No. No. Oh fuck! He's gonna get that tick. The tick. Oh, Smart. let's see this. Let's see this tick. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. I've been outskilled. It's time for me to. Oh, he's running away. I'm gonna hold this province. Then. So, oh, oh, that was huge! Oh my god! This <laughs> 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 was bigger than Onion's mom! <laughs> 300 Germans appearing out of thin air. This sounds like a joke, like 100, 140,000 Burgundians walk into a bar. <laughs> <laughs> what, 200,000 Germans reinforce. Oops! Oh man.
Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's cool. How long is this war gonna go on? How long has this war gone on for? It's yeah, gone on for about two years. years. We started it sometime forever. in 1895. The Reich never ends. The Reich never ends. Yeah, They're about to hit 100 war exhaustion, I just want to remind you. Burgundy just oh, can't shit. hold out forever. Burgundy is literally fighting a country his same size with sanctions. Hold on, I still see the Rhineland on the uh, list of your biggest factories. You haven't deleted those yet. That's true. You need to get to it. <laughs> We've a look like- are you really gonna take a fucking Polish province? How bad is that gonna fucking look? Listen, it's all it's all gonna make sense eventually. It's not gonna make sense for the No it's no you'll understand. No, you taking Bohemia. Polish nationalist, fucking hell. Damn. He is actually taking Bohemia. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Wait, if you take if you take Bohemia and Silesia, you get that. It's not a fucking exclave, which would yes. be a rule break, Weevil. You're not allowed to do that. You know that, right? Not an AI. What the fuck is going on in the Burgundy War? Is this Major still going on? I actually think uh, onions may have just given up to them. They're all negotiating. He's oh, seizing down the capital, so... Great, Danubians fell out of GP, so we won't even was, be able to form I was form just about to say that. <laughs> nice. God. Yeah, he'll probably get his feelings. Oh, oh, he guy. lost his feelings. This guy. guy. He'll probably get GP Dude. back. Wait, he's liberals of an anti-mill party. That's why he fell out. What the fuck? He's fucking... Where are my spears at? Where are my spears? I uh, just flipped into a fucking republic. No. Nazi Look at his flag. That is a nice flag. It's like the fucking emoji. Wait, what flag? Yeah, what flag? But all my fucking factories are closed. The English oh, flag. Yeah. yeah. Flag. Oh, what flag? Oh, oh, that's, that's oh I think. Add this oh, to the mod. That's a fucking nice flag. Oh, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, my fucking industry score just fucking died. The war is over? What the fuck is- where's the peace deal? Okay, he took a lot of land. Oh, nice. Maybe I'll sphere the Nubians. Oh my god. Swagga, what are your thoughts on my new borders? Fucking hideous. You're gonna stop uh, what's his Nubian getting Einstein, so. Who cares if he wants it or not? He didn't take it. Didn't it didn't won that war so. so hard and he still can't fucking form Germany. <laughs> oh, no. He still needs that one core wave alone. He's not GP. <laughs> Onions, if I release Bohemia as a puppet, will you play it? Yeah. Will Albion then form next session? Albion's will, mm -hmm. yeah, will form. <laughs> Losing well, GP to uh, Danubians now, finally. He lost his feelings. How was Germany not formed yet? He has like everything. Because an anti-mill party during the war, so he fell out of GP and he lost all his spears. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute skill issue. He's definitely taking Bohemia when he farms. Watch out, Weevil. The Danubian-Hungarian border looks like they're handshaking. Wait, Hungary's back in DM. He's in my sphere. Oh. Oh, what? Oh, what? What the fuck is that? Oh, come on. You see these oh, transfers. What the fuck? How did you... How are you getting that deal, Weevil? Einstadt, probably. Einstadt. All that for Eisenstadt. Worth it, I'd say. He does need yeah, it I to form uh, Germany. But I mean, at the end of the day, it's an 86k fucking grain province.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was the great showdown that the Germany arc of this campaign has been building up to for a very long time. And Germany still isn't here. Where is it? Where is my Gross Deutschland? Before I show you the war analyzer, let's explain why Germany hasn't formed yet. Back in 1895, upon the outbreak of war, the Danubians was already barely clinging on to great power status, with Spain threatening to come above him. So this wasn't a new problem that emerged during the war, and it didn't happen because of his anti-military party specifically. In December 1900, right before the transfer of Moravia from the Danubians to Hungary took place, the Danubian Confederation's Great Power ranking score was 1,770, and the number 8 Great Power who had recently taken that spot from the Danubians, Spain, had a score of 1,782, claiming Great Power ranking with a mere 12 points. Our South German friends were very close to reclaiming that number 8 Great Power ranking. He just got the Rhineland, he put a jingoist party back in power after those anti-military took over mid-war, by re building the large amount of brigades he lost during the war, he could easily overtake Spain. However, that's not what he did. After the war, as you saw, he made the deal with Hungary and he gave away Moravia. In December 1900, that state has an industrial score of 60. This widens the gap between Great Power number 8 and Secondary Power number 9, so only time will tell if he can reclaim his spot as Great Power so he can get those feelings back and form Germany. Just as a word of advice, I would have agreed with Hungary to transfer Moravia after having formed Germany, because you need the points that are in Moravia to remain great power. As for the war itself, I just mainly want to show you the war analyzer, there's nothing really to analyze in it. This section would be about an hour long if I broke down every chance one side had to completely wipe out the enemy army. It was mainly the Danubians that had those chances because of the Burgundian organization. Anyway, 5 million casualties is very impressive for a 1v1. The war was huge, it lasted 3 years. The Great Coalition War against China had less casualties in this war. It was actually a fascinating example of two roughly evenly matched players on evenly matched countries for the most part just going at each other for years. There is just one more thing I want to mention diplomatically regarding Scandinavia and all this. He was also deeply against Burgundy for breaking this deal, and he created the deal alongside the original Burgundy player before he left. But in the end they all just agreed to let them 1v1, Scandinavia stayed out, the Danubians agreed to the 1v1, I think if he really wanted to do he could have gotten Scandinavia on his side. But anyway, this comfy little 1v1 was the calm before the storm. As the Burgundians and the Danubians constantly failed to encircle each other, other plans were being put in place and things were in motion, and we are building up to the Great War of this campaign and an epic conclusion. What do you think the Great War is going to be about? What sides do you think there might be and what conflicts in the world do you think might trigger it? What past events might repeat themselves and what foreshadowing can you point to to predict what's going to happen? As always, thank you very much for watching this, and if you aren't subscribed, you should, and you should also like the video. I don't know exactly what the schedule is going to be yet, and I'm not 100% sure if the next video in the series will be the grand finale, and if it is, I might release a teaser trailer for it before I put that out. But one thing's for sure, I will need more time to make a grand finale, so maybe an extra two or three weeks. If there comes a Friday where I don't release a video, that's why. Anyway, there is one schedule I'm more certain about, and that's the Twitch schedule. The China DoD campaign that I promised in the last video didn't happen on that Sunday, it's actually happening this Sunday. This obviously just applies if you're watching the video on the day or two after it came out, and the times that you can see on the screen will apply. I will put out a community post when I go live as a final announcement, and I hope to see all of you great people there. I really appreciate everyone who watches and supports me on the streams, and of course the Patreon supporters as well. Thanks everyone, see you in the next video. That's all for today, goodbye.